Welcome to another recipe from the Picked Box starting the 3rd of August 2020. This is my spicy baked tomato aubergine bake. It's super, super easy. It's got tons of flavors and we are utilizing beautiful 100% organic aubergine, courgettes and red onion. Oh, we're also using some of the garlic as well from your box. First things first, your oven is on at 180 degrees centigrade, fan assisted or 200 degrees otherwise. To get started, we're gonna make a very easy marinade. In this bowl, we're gonna go in with tomato puree or tomato paste. You could use passata if you wanted. It just the sugar and the flavor of a tomato paste is just a lot more intense. If you've got the Doctor's Kitchen Essentials list, you'll definitely have this. Uh, if you don't know what that is, just go to the website and look up the Essentials list. It's basically got all your store covered ingredients, your herbs, spices, pastes, oils that you need to make sure you can make all the picked Doctor's Kitchen recipes. So in that goes, you've got tomato paste. We're gonna give this a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. Always use extra virgin olive oil. I love it. Two tablespoons will do about there. We're gonna go in with um, some honey. Now, you could use a different sweetener if you were vegan. Uh, two teaspoons will do, or a tablespoon. We're gonna season this up nicely with a bit of salt and a good few cracks of pepper. And now, here are some key ingredients that you might not have thought of putting together. Cinnamon, it's going to add not only antioxidant value, but it's also got a wonderful depth of flavor. Oregano as well. Now, oregano we're gonna go quite hard with. A couple of teaspoons. And this is sort of very Greek style. Garlic's going in now. We're just gonna grate it. Mix it all together and you've got this beautiful paste. It's just amazing. And this is gonna be the way in which we're gonna inject flavor into our aubergines and our courgettes and our onions as well. Our aubergines, make sure those are all similar sort of size. Doesn't need to be exact quartered our courgettes as well, and that goes into the pan. There is a better way to cut the courgette. You just cut, you quarter it lengthways and then cut across, but I've obviously done it the long way. So we're gonna quarter our onions and we're gonna pick apart the petals, if you like, the inner sides of the, the different layers. And those are gonna be like vehicles for the flavor that we've created here. I'm changing the tray here because the tray is far too small. So, and we're gonna add our marinade onto that and just massage it into the tray. This goes into the oven for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna check after 20 minutes, give it a bit of a mix run, and then add our black beans to that. So I've drained some black beans over here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these black beans straight into this marinade bowl, because there's still lots of little edges of the tomato and the honey there. There's loads of flavor still on that. So just mix it round, and then that will just make sure that everything is nicely flavored. All right, this is looking gorgeous. Smells incredible. We're just gonna move this around the pan slightly. So the bottom bits come to the front and vice versa. So everything's getting a chance to mingle. And then we're gonna add our black beans to this. They don't need cooking, but they're just gonna crisp up a bit and so add a little bit more texture. So this is gonna need another 10 minutes or so and it'll be ready to serve. All right, oh yeah. That looks good. Just gonna top it up with some pine nuts just to give a little bit of texture. You could even add a little bit of feta cheese to this or well, you can even add halloumi or something like that. That'd be awesome. Enjoy the rest of the recipes in the pick box and I'm sure you will love it. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to support The Doctor's Kitchen, make sure you subscribe right now, like this video and check out all the other videos we have right here. Also go to thedoctorskitchen.com. There are plenty of recipes and other products there to help you live the healthiest life possible.